Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And can you believe it's already the middle of October? So we are doing our mid-month relationship check-ins. And we're starting off with fire. And we're doing them individually and seeing if you guys prefer that style versus having them all in one. So. Uh, I read intuitively, so the messages that come through may or may not apply to everyone, so take what works, leave the rest. And fire covers the zodiac signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So, we will get started. Uh, I read for the singles within the element first, and then we'll hop over to the couples, see how the relationship dynamic works. And we will look at... Um, which chakra energy where kind of the focus is for the first part or for the rest of the month sorry and then we will hop over to the tarot and see a little bit more clarity but we'll start with the uh, chakra energy and see where that lines up for our fire singles today uh, if you're new here hit that subscribe button drop a like on the video if you enjoy this type of content and comment down below any thoughts feelings impressions ideas um, let me know if there's something I can do differently, better, improve, or if I'm doing great, what's your thoughts, all that fun stuff. And our first card, and this card, this particular deck, it was a gift from a very dear friend. Um, and I'm not quite as familiar or strong with it yet. I'm working on that. But we'll see what my intuition brings up, and then we'll check in the book. So we have, oops, number 20, it's transformation. And... What I'm getting with this one is I feel like, let's see, we'll just take a peek and see what chakra we're in. We're in the third chakra, so this is your solar plexus chakra. This one is interesting because I'm getting the impression that you have the power over your quote-unquote demons, the lions biting this one up here. This deity is actually protecting the lion and encouraging it to destroy that, what's, that which is in your way. So what I'm getting for earth, or for earth, for fire, uh, at this point is fire singles you have the the ability to create your life everyone does and they're wanting to remind you specifically fire singles that you have control over what's going on if you don't like the way your life's going right now you have the right to change it what I'm also hearing is that if you have doubt if you have self esteem issues or self confidence issues that's gonna be your demon that's being conquered so this month definitely do the start to work on some inner work if you're already doing it there's could be some breakthroughs this month but if you're single and you would like to be in a relationship and there's just things that are in the way what I'm hearing is this is the month to really explore those obviously well maybe not obviously I'll rephrase that um, don't force things when you are ready it's going to let it go but sometimes bringing it into the light of day where you acknowledge that there's this block this issue this thing that you're bothered by allows you to see the path around it because when we ignore it and we shove it into the dark have you ever had your lights off in your house and you stumble through the house and kick every piece of furniture that's what's going on because you're not putting light on the subject so this month is what I'm hearing is, is a good time to illuminate what's going on so we'll take a peek in the book and see what it says it's in the uh, third chakra so this is the deity is Tripura Bharavi Bariravi Associated with terror as well as protection, this fiery goddess is an aspect of the Divine Mother who juggles the power of creation and destruction. Looking at her fierceness can make the spirit of courage shake. Her battles are mostly directed towards burning away obstacles that slow the progress of her children's journey towards self-realization, such as delusion, doubt, slothfulness, or other mental obstructions making the upward momentum of chakra energy possible. So this is really saying, reminder, you're in your um, solar plexus, your third chakra and what that means is you have the authority over your life your solar plexus is your power centered chakra this is where you have this 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 thing here that's on you you have full control over it and that's what she's bringing forward is if there's something that's in the way this is the time to deal with it if there's something that's not super clear right now is the good time to explore how to work around it if maybe you just can't quite get through it yourself and that's that happens you're, there's nothing wrong with that and you'll need some outside help that's amazing do that but what she's saying is 
this is the time to process through these things fire singles so you have a lot of um, positive uh, theoretical positive growth of being available it's whether or not you're willing to take those take the chances to make it happen keywords are facing challenges removing obstacles creating positive changes finding new skills or opportunities it's definitely the time to explore those new opportunities but to do that you have to make some space or something block on the pathway here so whether you enjoy being single or if you're looking for a partner clearing out some of the excess heaviness fire is not going to be a bad thing because it could be something that interferes even with friendships or work relationships as well so it's definitely a good reminder this month to check in meditate with your third chakra your solar plexus and see what's maybe not as clean as it should be or not as clear and put some focus on that if you like i said if you need some assistance then reach out to people you trust you know there's no sense in going through it alone and trust me when you need the help always reach out for it it's not it's not worth trying to go it alone all the time it, sometimes it's, it's fine but not all the time uh, your first tarot is the nine of water your wishes come true concerns fade away and a love of life this is a reminder that with that power that you are have the ability to wield which is your solar plexus you have the ability to make your life what you want wishes coming true concerns fading away a love of life this is saying what is it you want to make with your life you have to let go of some things you have to you know deal with those <laughs> that baggage and clear it out in a lot of ways you're keeping the lessons but you're not carrying all that emotional nonsense anymore and I say nonsense because when you carry hurts, pains, and issues from the past, and you're no longer in that situation, it's nonsense. I, I yell at myself about that, so it's not a personal thing. Uh, but when you understand that you can let all that stuff go, keep the lessons, because that's what helped make who you are, then you can really create things from a neutral standpoint and a better standpoint. And that also ties into what the third chakra, your power chakra, really is setting. Um, with that being said, your second card is number nine, the Hermit with Archangel Raziel, spending time in quiet meditation, spiritual teachings, and self-discovery. That's part of what it is to let things go. You have the Nine of Water saying, it's time to enjoy life. Set yourself up for success. Have fun. Do your, th do your thing. But the Hermit is saying, the inner work that you need to do or that you're being called to do, need to do is questionable, but you're being called to do is going to be stuff that you're going to do quietly and alone. You're not going to be in a group doing this. It's not going to be group therapy. It's going to be you by yourself, you with one other person, like a counselor, therapist, really good friend who's already been through all of this. But you're going through that aspect. And it's allowing you to look at yourself in a way of non-judgment. Because the things that happened in the past sometimes we're there to help us wake up to our actual authority over our, our existence and sometimes it's a little reminder to look back with a neutral in a more neutral st setting and be like oh okay so that's what was going on there i see how i've grown why am i still feeling guilt over this why am i still feeling frustration over this why do i feel still like that was my fault it might have been forgive yourself and let it go because you can't go forward when you have those kind of anchors pulling you back and that's the message from the hermit is sometimes you have to go inside you have to dig deep inside and actually see what's going on that way you can let go and move forward more cleanly so fire singles um, looks like it could be a definite learning experience for the next little bit for our fire singles um, definitely stay grounded take your shoes off put your feet on the ground um, you know magnesium epsom salt bath type things but allow yourself to go into your emotions, see what's going on, and allow yourself to feel those emotions. It's all right to have an emotional moment. Don't live there. Get them out. That way you can process them easier. So now we'll hop over to, we'll cut this deck real quick, our fire couples. And where are our fire couples? chakra energy there we go so for if you could be the fire element or it could be your partner but this is going towards the relationships and they're connected to fire 
we have number three creation this is going to be working with root chakra energy so this is foundational work that we're talking about here but with the concept of creation what i'm hearing for fire couples is this is a time of new beginning of new growth of deepening things to a taking things to a deeper level but i'm also hearing that with creation it could be that a new a new level of bonding that is occurring a new level of intimacy as in spiritual intimacy or um, it could be that you are creating a new life this month um, there's a lot of different ways to look at creation so let's hop over to our book here where we got through um, and this is an amazing deck it's the sacred mystery chakra oracle deck and there's a lot of information I'm just skimming the surface on these as far as what I'm reading we have the cards deity this guy up here is Brahma the four heads reflect Brahma's position as Lord of creation they represent the physical self the rational self the emotional self and the intuitive self in each of his four hands Brahma carries a blessing his hand mudra and a mudra is a stylized position one of the definitions I saw to make the most sense is mudras are hand yoga so it's a pose for your hands to trigger a certain energetic state um, removes fear and insecurities from his pot sacred water pours forth the lotus emits the scent of purity and the scrolls recount divine wisdom and we are working with the first mandra first chakra sorry um, and so we're in our root areas your keywords are birthing possibilities innovation original thinking the pioneering spirit novel opportunities taking a first step towards something new fire couples this is a time of creation this is a time of new beginnings um, even if there was like a rough patch where you know, there was like finances and you know little bickering things that go on in relationships all relationships have them this could be a call to set that aside it's no law it's not that big of a deal you'll get it figured out reconnect is also the energy that I'm coming com that's coming forward when we work with our root chakra this is foundational things this is your home this is your connection to each other and if you've been together for a while your roots and your lower chakras your root your sacral and your solar plexus actually start to come together and align up very closely because that is the foundation of your life and relationships so with this one what it's saying is the foundation is there and now what are you going to build upon it you already have the strength there you've bonded with your partner and now what are you guys building together what is it that you are going towards is it maybe saving for that new house is it maybe going talking to that real estate agent because you have saved for the house is it starting that new business is it starting that new baby what is it what is it that you've been trying to build this is the time to explore those possibilities in a deeper way your tarot is the eight of air an illusion of being trapped a lack of self-confidence afraid to take action the three number three the creation card this guy here with Brahma is saying enough is enough you have this is where you're at right now is what I'm hearing there's a little bit of are we ready for this is this really what we want to do have we saved enough money have we planned far enough ahead you can plan and plan and plan and plan and life's gonna happen around your plans so the eight of air is kind of giving you a little bit of a call out like yeah we get it you're nervous about what's coming up but have you planned it out do you know what you're looking at if you've got plans in place up through the next three steps that's all you need you because anything past three steps out on really any project have a primary big picture goal but the only plan the next two to three steps because usually by the time you hit step three something has changed <laughs> so that's where we're at is the eight of air is saying you're not trapped that's the illusion that you need to break but you are you're not quite sure you keep questioning yourself and that's not a, something that is beneficial for you in this next little month little bit um, fire couples your second card is the number 10 the wheel with Archangel Michael a pause time for positive change a situation moving forward fortune is on your side this is where you have to understand that there's times when you sense something that's not you see something that's not there that's that fake illusion part that's coming forward the wheel especially with Archangel Michael coming up Mar Michael is the angel of clearing spaces he's out there with his gigantic sword 
Uh, some people see it as a blue flame, others see it as red. But he's cutting away and clearing things. The wheel always moves up and moves down. You're coming out of a down spot, but it's almost like you're tapping the brakes, like you're not quite ready to make that next step. But with Michael coming in, why would you slow down? Work with your intuition. Look at your life. Your life is yours. These, This is things that are coming in intuitively, so take what works, obviously. But what I'm seeing right here is the Eight of Air is saying there's an illusion that there's something wrong. The reality is the wheel, things go up, things go down. There's always a cycle in life. The next part of your life is ready to be had. Are you ready to make that creation possible and move forward with it is what I'm hearing. So with that, we will wrap this little section up. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by and checking this out. Again, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next video.